Hey guys, hope you all feeling good. Happy Monday. Um, not much going on right now, so let's just go ahead and get started. We're gonna focus more so on the hips, throw a little bit of shoulders in there, but for now, I just want you to start in a nice, easy seated position and close the eyes. Let the hands rest on the knees, wherever is most comfortable for you. Then from here, just really focusing on your breath. Long, deep inhales, filling the belly. And long, slow exhales, trying to get every bit of air out of those lungs. Keep it going. I'm just going to start some really gentle neck rolls. Take your time, no need to rush it. Don't let those shoulders tense up while you're doing this. And switch directions. On the left ear, it's the left shoulder, hang out there, and then just we to walk those right fingertips out to the side. And switch and roll it over right ear, right shoulder, and then walk those left fingertips out to the side. Nice, bring my head up to neutral. Big inhale, sweep those arms overhead. And then exhale, rounding the upper back, walk those hands out front, keeping that chin tucked to the chest. You should feel a nice stretch along the back side of the neck. <clears throat> We're gonna walk those hands out to the right. And walk them all the way out to the left. Now then walk it back to center. Walking those hands all the way in. I want you to drop those feet out in front and just start getting those hips warmed up, windshield wiper those knees from side to side. And they drop out to the left, just pause here for a few breaths. And out to the right, hold it for a few breaths. Good. Back to center, roll it over on the mat, on all fours, fingertips are touching the edge of the mat, just gently rock it side by side, slowly opening up those wrists.
And fingertips face the thighs, sit it back just before those palms will leave the ground. Then just kind of hang out there. So flip it over tops of those hands. Flip it over, shake it out. Good. From here, I want you to, while you're keeping that knee bent, bringing that heel up into the ceiling. Then you're going to rotate that leg out, roll it towards the tricep, back down. And then you're just going to roll this way. Just start getting those hips warmed up. So once again, the heel straight up. And then from there, dropping that right foot out to the left, that knee pops out to the side, so a big fire hydro pose. And then you bring it all the way to the tricep. Then you rotate it back down. Now we're going to reverse it. So you bring it into the tricep, kick it out, bring it all the way out, drop that knee, keep it going. more, one more, and bring it down. Now we're just going to switch sides. So kicking that left heel up towards the ceiling, pop that knee out, bring it to that tricep, roll it down. Now we're going to reverse it, bring it into the tricep first, kick it out, roll it back. One more. All right, bring it back down. From here, go ahead and tuck those toes under, send those hips back in a downward dog. First one, you may feel a little tight, that's totally okay. Pedal out those feet. So, focusing on that breath here. High up onto those tippy toes, tippy toe your way to the front of that. Feet as wide as the mat. Just allow yourself to hang out here, allowing. Some time to open up those hamstrings. Slight bend in the knee, let the crown of the head hang. And just gently sway it side to side. Just waking the body up. Slowly bending those knees, chest is on top of the thighs, slowly roll your way up one vertebra at a time. As you get a last rise, rolling those shoulders back. Stepping those feet together. All right, big inhale, sweep those arms overhead, gaze at thumbs, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back in the plank. Shift that weight forward, lower down the chaturanga, just hovering. Big inhale, upward facing dog. Take an extra breath here. And exhale, downward facing dog. Keep pedaling up those feet. High up onto those tippy toes, tippy toe your way to the front of the mat again. 
feet as wide as the mat, slight bend. Let the head hang here. Grab off the elbows, really swing yourself from side to side. Uh, gently releasing those hands. Peace fingers, so middle finger, index finger, grab big toes. And from here, just go ahead and drop those hips down in the velocity, pushing those knees out, chest stays nice and upright. And back up. And down. And down. Couple more. Up. And down. Good. Hang out here. Just bring those arms on front. See if you can counterbalance this. You're still driving those knees out towards the side. The chest stays nice and upright. And from here, just stand it all the way up. And shake it out. Feet together, big inhale, sweep those arms overhead, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back into plank, shift that way forward, and lower down to chaturanga, just hovering. Big inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. This time, bring Pinky toes to the edges of your mat, so you're in a much wider stance here for your downward dog. <clears throat> you can stay here, or you can take the left hand or right calf for a little twist. Left hand comes back, and then you switch. Nice. Right hand comes back out. High up onto those tippy toes, tippy toe your weight for the mat, keeping those feet nice and wide. Once again, peace fingers, grab big toes. Go ahead and drop it right into Malasana. This time, we're going to take that left arm, bring it all the way out to the side, bring that right arm up. And switch. You're going to wrap that right tricep around. Right hand plants out to the side, reaching that left arm up. Good. Bring it down. Lift those hips up. Hang out here for a moment. Sway it side by side if you'd like. And bending at the knees, chest is on top of those thighs, and slowly roll your way up. All right, we're going to speed up a little bit, and we're going to add some balance to it, okay? So feet together. Big inhale, bend those knees, sweep those arms overhead for chair pose. Now, one thing I want you to focus on, keeping that tailbone under, ribcage tucked under, no booty bopping here. Right? If you look down, you should be able to see those toes. All right. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back into plank, shift forward, lower down and chaturanga, just hovering. Big inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. You're going to immediately step that right foot forward, back heel drops, sweep those arms overhead. Or warrior one. Try your hardest to keep those hips squared off. That right knee is still bent 90 degrees. Bring those arms up. Exhale those hands back down, step it back through into chaturanga. Inhale up for facing dog. 
and exhale, downward facing dog. This time you're stepping left foot to the front of the mat, dropping back heel. Sweep that warrior one. Remember, hips are squared off. Back foot is about 45 degree angle. Knees still bent. And exhale your way back down through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Keep that one out. High punches, tippy toes, tippy toes, your way to the front of the mat. Big inhale, root to rise, sweeping those arms overhead. And exhale, those hands back down to the heart center. Good, shake it out. And then again, big inhale. And the knees sweep those arms overhead. This time I'm going to bring hands to heart center. Here's where we start bringing in some balance. Then from here, big inhale. On that exhale, you're going to twist. So left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Here is where it gets a little tricky. I want you to think about lifting that left foot off the ground. Kind of practice it a little bit. Flip that back. Yep. Keep that. Keep lifting that left foot off the ground. Then next time, you're going to lift it, shoot it straight back. So now you're in a twisted lunge. Remember, knee is pushing the tricep, tricep is pushing back. You're trying to get those hands to heart center. Good. Rotate it up. Sweeping those arms overhead. Gently drop that back knee, bring those hands down, move that right foot over as needed. Big inhale here. Exhale, rock it back. Rock forward, inhale. Exhale, rock it back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Good. Bring it back forward. From here, you're going to tuck those back toes under. Big inhale back into that lunge. Open up into warrior two. So back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Right toes are pointing forward. That front knee should still be about 90 degrees. Arms out into a nice T. A big inhale, reverse warrior. Then exhale, you're going to cartwheel it over, step the back of the downward facing dog. High front to those tippy toes, tippy toe your way to the front of the mat, keeping those feet together. Big inhale, bend the knees, sweep those arms overhead, so now you're back into chair pose. Hands to heart center. Big inhale here. And exhale, you're twisting. Right elbow to the outside of that left knee. Remember, you're going to practice a little bit. So what you're going to do is kind of lift that right foot off the ground, checking out that balance. And then lift it up, shoot it straight back for that lunge. Remember, knee is pushing a tricep, triceps pushing back. Big inhale, sweep those arms overhead. Progressive lunge. Good. Exhale those hands down. Gently dropping that back knee and move that left foot over as needed. Big inhale, leaning into this lunge. Then exhale, straighten out that left leg. Inhale, lunge. And exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. One more. Exhale, straighten. Good. Bring it forward. Tuck those back toes under. Big inhale, sweep those arms overhead. Open up into warrior two. Remember, still want that knee 
of 90 degrees. Big inhale, reach it back for reverse warrior. And then exhale, you're gonna cartwheel it over. And this time, I want you to step that right foot forward, dropping it right down into that squat. Elbows inside the knees, press it out, sitting nice and tall. Good, hands down, lift those hips up, heel toe those feet back together. Big inhale, root to rise, open those arms overhead. And exhale, those hands down the heart center. All right? Let's do it again. Big inhale, bend those knees, sweep those arms overhead. And then exhale those hands to heart center. Another big inhale here. And then exhale, twist. Once again, I want you to play around with it. Practice lifting that left foot off the ground. This time, shoot it straight back. Go to breathe here. If you open up those arms, feel that twist involved, you may even feel a deeper stretch in that right hip. Uh, bring those hands back together. Gently untwist, sweep those arms overhead. This time, bring those hands down, keep that left knee off the ground, big inhale, lunge here. Exhale, straighten that right leg. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. And from here, sweep back up. Open up the warrior two. Next, we're going to go into pyramid pose. So go ahead, straighten that right leg. You're going to step that left foot in. That left foot should still be about 45 degree angle. Right toes are pointing straight. So that back heel, just slightly angled here. Still want everything squared off. From here, if you can, you can grab offset elbows behind the back. Big inhale, keeping those shoulders pulled back. Lead with the chest, coming over that right leg. Think about bringing your chin all the way down to your shin. Breathe here, gazes at the big toe. So gently release those hands out front. Step your way back through plank and chaturanga. Big inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. I want to those tippy toes, tippy toe your way to the front of the mat, keeping those feet together. Big inhale, bend those knees, sweep those arms overhead for chair pose. Then exhale those hands to heart center. Good. Big inhale, and exhale, twist them. Once again, I want you to practice here. So lift that right foot off, bring it back down, lift it off. Down. And this time, shoot it straight back into that lunge. You can hang out here. Maybe you open up those arms, get a little bit of an extra twist. Good. Bring it back together. Gently untwist, sweeping those arms overhead. And exhale those hands down to the mat. Move that left foot over as needed. Big inhale, lean into this lunge here. Exhale, straighten that leg out. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Good. Inhale, lunge. Big inhale, sweeping those arms overhead. Open up your warrior two. Then we're going to go into that pyramid pose. So you're going to straighten that left leg. You're going to step that right foot forward. It should be about two to three feet apart. 
as you see, my left toes are still pointing forward. My back foot is at that 45 degree angle. My hips are still squared off. Once again, if you can, grab the offset elbows behind your back. Or as much as you can. Big inhale. Lead with the chest on that exhale, keeping that back flat. You're pulling the chest to the top of your thigh. Leading with that chin. Gaze at the big toe. Good. Gently bring those hands out in front. Step in that right foot forward, drop it down into your squat. Elbows inside the knees, press it out. Good. This time we're going to lean all the way back. We're coming into both poses. So, shins and calves parallel to the ground. You're balancing on your butt. Try to keep that back flat, your arms out in front. Squeezing belly, butt of the spine. Just lower it down. The only thing that should still be on the ground is your lower back and your butt. My shoulder blades are off the ground. My feet are off the ground. Bring it back up. And down. Um, up. Down. Up. Down. From here, you can interlace those fingers behind the back, lifting that right leg all the way up. Now we're going to do some pulses here, bringing the chin up to the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to switch. Right leg comes down, still hovering. Left leg comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Both legs come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, good, tuck the knees into the chest. Good job, guys. And just relax here for a moment. And rolling your way up, extending this leg out nice and long. And get deep into those hips. So right ankle, just left that left knee. You know this one's probably one of my favorite ones to do. So if you already feel a stretch in the right hip, cool, hang out here. You can either come into figure four, making sure that right foot stays flexed, or you can stack those shins one on top of another for fire lock pose or double pigeon. It's okay that this is not touching, that your knee is not touching your foot. That's totally okay. If you want to put a block, a blanket, whatever you may want right there, feel free to. If you're already feeling a deep enough stretch, hang out. Maybe you wait a moment for those muscles to start loosening up or you can slowly start to walk those hands out in front. And walking those hands in here in this position here. I want you to drop that right foot to the outside, tucking that left foot in towards the hip. Good, keeping that foot flat. Try and keep both those hips flat if you can. You can either just take that left arm and grab onto that right knee, 
right arm comes back behind and you can twist or if you're comfortable enough with it, left elbow to the outside of that right knee. And then big inhale, lengthen the spine and on the exhale, twist. So you can hold on to that right leg if you need to. Good. Look forward, drop those feet out in front and just wrench your leg or those knees from side to side. Good, then we're going to switch, extend those legs out nice and long. Left ankle just above that right knee. Once again, hang out here. You can come into figure four or you can stack those shins one on top of another. As long as there's no knee pain, keeping those feet flexed. Maybe you hang out here for a moment, super tight, that's okay. If you're able to, very slowly walking those hands out in front. Walk those hands back in. Once again, you're going to tuck that right foot into that hip. Left foot is on the outside of that right leg. Once again, you can just hold on to that knee if you need to. Or if you're comfortable enough with it, you can place that elbow to the outside of the knee. But left arm is behind the back. Big inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Then exhale a little bit forward, dropping the bottoms of those feet onto the mat and just gently rock those knees from side to side. Good, tuck it in. You're gonna extend those legs out nice and long. We're coming into our final resting motion asana, letting the toes fall to the side. Arms by the side, let that breath become shallow. Let the mind wander. Even letting little things like the jaw and eyelids relax.
and slowly coming back to your breath. Start your mind inviting small movements like wiggling the fingers and toes. Slightly larger movements like rolling the wrists and ankles. Give yourself a nice stretch overhead, make yourself as long as possible from fingertips to toes. And then rolling off into that right side, using that arm as a pillow. Whenever you're ready, slowly making your way back up into a seated position. Great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Namaste.